Uh, good morning, good morning, everyone. This is your boy, Ambassador Director Marlon Green, helping synchronize this regular universe. I hope our leaders can get their shit together watching me, holding me back, holding us back, stopping progress. Uh, the rich folks are very insecure. The people that have money are very insecure. Let me give you the real deal uh, of the technical state of the African American Union. Okay, first of all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna have to start giving me credit where credit due because that's this mentality. That's the mentality that they use to divide us. And let me tell you something. Just like the Luciferians have people in charge and they put people in places to help them, where's the Christians and where are the other African American groups that put their people in charge? I got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, President Trump made the right decision on the Minnesota. Uh, I'm surprised that they charged the officer with first degree murder. That's rare because uh, in theory that uh, law officers that get convicted, they cannot get life because they actually serve the community. And when they fall, they ain't going to never get the full penalty. So I'm surprised. That's logical to me. Uh, uh, what's good? Uh, uh, we compliment, uh, compliments versus competitive. Uh, when you always competing against somebody, you're actually wasting resources. You know why? Because if you compliment them, both of y'all will go a lot for, and so being programmed with the West and then trying to lecture people and doing the same thing that the Westerners do, it just don't cut it. And, uh, uh, sending food, sending food to different countries is more expensive now. They got a lot of restrictions, and Brazil is getting hard uh, hit by coronavirus. And uh, a lot of people need different types of supplies. Already, we're sending medicine, food, medicine, clothing, and uh, whatever they need. And uh, right now, a lot of them need uh, uh, calculators. GPS's and stuff like that. A lot of them can't afford cell phones and, and stuff like that. And uh, what I wanted to talk about ended up uh, wrapping up is the state of the Union of Louisiana. Uh, basically, is this: uh, these leaders down here, especially the Democrats, are doing nothing but harboring and stealing wealth from the locals. Ever since Hurricane Katrina, they had a lot of people dying at a high rate. And then their folks get put in a funeral, uh, not the funeral home, but the nursing homes. And then their, their property is managed by all of these third parties in the state. And then they die. And then all of their inheritance goes to the state. Well, these politicians have everything locked up. Uh, all of these big name politician uh, families are the ones that's robbing us. Like, uh, this is an instance, like... Uh, Mayor Cantrell has this uh, fake program uh, up, and uh, and let me tell you about this. New Orleans, well, New Orleans, Louisiana, and Chicago, Illinois are known for fraudulent campaigns. They are very uh, fraudulent campaigners, so you got to be scrutinous with all of these guys, especially in the state of Louisiana and the state of Illinois and, and D.C., you got to scrutinize these guys because a lot of them are con artists and I don't appreciate them. What y'all should be doing is apologizing to the class of 2020. So expecting them to change the world after y'all fucked it up so bad for them is, is mental cruelty. And it's advanced mental cruelty what they doing veterans because veterans risk their life, risk their family, risk their health, and then they can't get disability. That's Democrats and Republicans vote. Ain't no independents like me is in the picture. Y'all might as well start uh, listening to me. Don't mention no rappers around me because they not submitting documents to the United Nations and still poor. And then I consider myself a world class leader because you know why? Because the rich folks harbor up all of the money and people need money as a control tool over you. They are very insecure. And so having me oppressed by people like that don't make no fucking sense on the real. And uh, that's pretty much 
We have to get ready for this space economy. Y'all struggling on the mud level. Put some real people in charge, man. Y'all some uh, uh, insecure ass people, man. You do the same shit. That's how you know that your woman will fuck over you or fuck another man. They do the same shit over and over again. They have money. They'll see you performing. And then they'll go ask somebody else to do something that you can do. And shit like that. Now, it's not everybody. But it's about 80%. I appreciate people when they ask uh, me to do stuff. Or if they need, uh, they ask me, do I need stuff? I appreciate that shit. I'm not going to just act like that's not no big deal when it's a big deal. Our leaders are very fucking ungrateful. We got this space for us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if it wasn't for me, the terrestrials wouldn't be respecting us. I deserve a job. I deserve opportunity in the space for us too. Quit fucking around with these shot callers because this is what's happening. There's a lot of us. Y'all can't make none. You know what I'm saying? It's only right. Y'all know these people put me in jail. I need the motherfucking money to buy my motherfucking rights back, to expunge my record, to get me a fucking car. Can you imagine y'all having me without no motherfucking car? And the good thing that I was good at administration, but we still have a lot of discrimination in the broadcasting. We still have a lot of uh, 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 resource shortages, food, water, internet, travel restrictions, all of this bullshit. We need Africa to make bicycles. Y'all can come up right now, hit a lick, make bicycles out of plastic and metal. It'll be very cheap. You can probably get a bike for make a bike for about 20 bucks, sell it for a hundred. Fuck them bikes that cost one hundred, a uh, 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 thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. We not gonna make no bikes like that. Make regular truck bikes, make regular track bikes. Make the show, they go at least up to uh, 29, 30 inches because I'm tired of going to shops and all of the sizes that I fit, they ain't never there. And so we got to tighten up on a lot of economic shit and, then, and quit repping everybody else rep. And, and you see this, mug? You see this that's hanging around my neck? Even though it's a good product, this is not no acting, okay? When you're doing out there, when you're getting experience, you get scores. When you getting things done, you get injuries. When you when you when you gotta when you gotta make things happen, you gotta go out in the weather. It be cold, it be hot, it be raining. Don't respect people that sit on their ass all day behind the desk telling everybody else what to do and still can't get it done. And and, and the garbage man, in my opinion, should be the only ones getting hazard pay because everybody else they can just. They, 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 unless you're not getting paid, there was a rumor that the cops not getting paid. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. Man, we got to do a whole lot of shit better. 